Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to connect your HTC LG Nexus devices that have MHL. Um, now, of course, the main thing that you're going to need, and this is connecting it to a computer monitor. So, of course, you're going to need the computer monitor cord, which is the male to male. Um, VGA adapter cord um, that usually comes with all computer monitors if not that's the search you can use for it um, online to get you one um, you're going to need the um, MHL adapter and it's pretty simple um, they're designed different ways some of them don't have this box some of them just have a, a cord um, I mean, you know, whichever one, whichever way it works, this is ultimately what they look like. They have the VGA female a headphone uh, jack because VGA doesn't do sound, and they have some kind of power plug. It'll either be a port to plug your power cord in, or it'll be a flash drive that you have to plug into a power brick um, to charge it. And um, in order to connect it, uh, one of the First things you have to do is you have to take the computer cord, that's the VGA male cord, and plug it into the female end. Now the problem that you have with this, this particular adapter is they've made the plug in, inside. So it's down and it's not sticking out. If it was sticking out, then it would be easier to screw um, the screws into um, because they're not as long or as deep as the uh, adapter end and so because they don't stick out as far they don't actually screw into and hold the adapter in place so you see the screen just went completely blank it recognized that I plugged something into it and I just simply got a rubber band and I put the rubber band around it like this um, to keep it in place because otherwise if you have to move the phone or do anything um, it gets unplugged and that can be uh, extremely frustrating especially when you're in the middle of a movie the other thing you're gonna need to do is the power cord so I uh, I just use one of the cords I use to charge my phones um, it requires power and because um, my computer monitor does not have sound um, I just have a pair of speakers that I plug in and I plug it into the phone jack here and that gives me sound then the next thing I need to do is take the five pin making sure it's five pin um, because they come in two forms they come in a five pin and an 11 pin five pin is for um, non Samsung devices and 11 pin is for um, note 2 and above Samsung devices and you just take it and you plug it into the bottom and then what you have on the screen should pop up as you can see so I'm going to unlock my phone and this is what you see on my phone um, it's my messy work area and um, I'm going to uh, play a video so that I don't do any kind of copyright infringement or anything like that. I'm just going to play uh, one of my own videos just to show you that um, you can have sound and um, it plays true mm -hmm. to sound. Um, it's not off or delayed. I know a lot of times with screen casting, um, people say that the sound is off or it's delayed um, and I don't experience that and as you see it comes up in this video I want to demonstrate and this um, is the sound 
So you see you get full sound. Um, I'm sorry I can't actually show you a video of a person talking. Um, so you can see that it actually moves exactly um, with the sound in the video. Um, but it literally demonstrates everything that pops up on your screen. So you put that in and that pops up. Um, if you start opening Netflix, that pops up. Now with some of the apps, um, you may have an issue where they may start to play like on the Hulu app. Um, it starts to play and then it doesn't um, actually stream the show. So Hulu, I think, has some kind of block, at least with the Samsung phones. Um, my HTC worked fine with it. Um, but with Samsung devices, I've experienced it um, freezing. So, um, I mean, this is really, you know, all about trial and error, but I really, you know, just wanted to show the connection. Um, I mean, it's, you know, I'm swiping and I guess this is a good way to show real time and it, it's real time. It's not a delay. It's exactly what pops up, um, when I, when I tap it, um, so I just wanted to show how to connect it um, with HTC devices. Uh, it's the easiest, has great sound because HTC devices have great sound. So um, I think if you're looking to do it, it's well worth the purchase. One of the things that I've noticed is that the battery drain is tremendous. The whole purpose of this power is so that it's supposed to charge um, as well as um, be able to watch it and I'll show you here if you look in the uh, left upper right corner you can see the, uh, the, the lightning bolt um, there and it says it's charging but after 15-20 minutes if it was on 77% it'll be down to 75% so you know it's not charging um, it just doesn't give enough power to the device through this MHL uh, connector in order to charge it so what I've noticed is that it it, it um, loses power at about uh, three times the rate. So I normally get about five hours, six hours of straight video watching or viewing um, on my HTC device without having to char uh, charge it. And with this, I'm able to get through like a movie um, and maybe a TV show and I'll be down to like nine or 10 percent. And, you know, at that point, you definitely have to start charging. Um and so, I mean, it's not the greatest um, hookup, but if you absolutely, absolutely want to watch something on a larger screen, and me personally, I don't own a television, so my com computer monitor is perfect. Um, there's some things that I just want to watch on a bigger screen, so having this 20-inch uh, monitor just makes it better for me. And this has uh, been a video on how to connect your... MHL devices to a computer monitor and I hope that this video helps someone. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.